So hi everybody, I hope you guys are having a good day. Um, as the vlog title states, today I want to talk to you guys about, or share with you guys that I looked into online dating. Um, this isn't something that I did basically um, as, I did it more of like a social experiment, frankly. Um, I learned a lot and I looked into a lot of the low cost to free um, dating apps or sites. Overall, most of them do allow you to sign up for free. Um, I do know that there are some that are more of a cost or a higher end app or site. Um, some do have questionnaires, some do not, I don't know. I didn't go through the process of actually signing up because I knew I wasn't going to um, invest any money or anything like that. It was more, again, just social experiment. Um, I did find a great deal of information to read. Um, I found a lot of um, information for various sites from um, such as like Consumer Affairs, uh, Site Jabber, Trustpilot was another one. Um, so I kind of just sat and read about some of the major ones that come up and I looked up, um, I basically looked into Coffee Meets Bagel, OkCupid, Zooks, and Plenty of Fish. Um, so each one I kind of just looked into that information. I did create a blog post and I will link it and it is linked in the description below as well so you guys can see um, what people were saying or users were saying um, about the the apps and website. Most of them were very straightforward. They basically had some simple information and then basically wanted you to sign up blind um, or what I consider blind because it really didn't give you a pricing scale or anything like that. And a lot of them have like little gimmicks. So like Coffee Meets Bagel has a thing called beans. And you can purchase beans, I guess, to either, I didn't quite understand the concept, but basically from what I understood slightly was that I guess it was kind of to give you more of a social boost or to promote your profile a little more. Um, and apparently they had beans for a low end scale of a set it was like a set number of beans for whatever the level was so they had some starting at like two dollars and then you could go up to I think it was close to 40 or 50 dollars um, so again it may vary from site to site other sites have other add-ons that you can do such as um, like having a messaging service they may charge you an X amount a month um, so it just varies I did find out that from my research when I was looking through the websites that I mentioned, like Trustpilot and Site Jabber and uh, Consumer Affairs, there I do like that you can see most recent um, reviews, and there were a lot of people, a lot of people, that were very upset that the site or app wasn't dealing with scammers or fake accounts or things of that nature. Um, I think any of us who use any type of social media or if you're an internet user in general, you kind of start to catch a pattern in a lot of fake accounts across social media. I have I think I've gotten pretty good at spotting some of the fake ones from Instagram. Facebook still is a little tough for me, but Instagram I've gotten pretty good at. Um, and some of the common things that we all should look out for most of the time in general is basically if sentence structure isn't correct, poor spelling, poor grammar, like if um, you think that the original product was or the original sentence was translated from another language, you kind of know that some words don't add up correctly or in terms of when you read it, it's off. Um, misspellings is another one. Um, substituting sometimes letters for numbers like the number zero for the letter O. I don't know how many people do that, but still something like that. Um, another thing that you can look out for is if you join any of these types of services is just make sure that you know what you're getting into. Um, if you have somebody that wants to contact you straight away outside of the messaging service that is provided through that particular um, app or site that may be a red flag um, if somebody decides that they're going to display their whatsapp number and send it to you that's a red flag for me most of the time um, and then if people 
kind of try to play on different types of stories like claiming they're a widower or saying that they're in um, a military in the military and that they don't have money for certain things that's another one you kind of have to look out for um, so it just varies but those are basically kind of the simple things that you can look out for um, and just be cautious when you use stuff like this but again I hope you guys have a good day and that was just kind of my little adventure for um, looking into that sort of information I can say that I know that I won't um, be using any of those services anytime soon because I think I deal with enough scammers via social media I don't need them through any other types of platforms but um, if you think it's something for you you can look into it just do your homework and um, let me know what you guys think hope you guys have a good day